A 12 seed who has beaten the tournament's overall number one seed. And that is why it's crazy madness. If you're not mad or, and or crazy, come along with me as we preview Illinois Western Kentucky. Brought to you by brother Gary Parrish, our college basketball columnist, joining me now. Gary, Illinois earned a five seed this year against, though, a tough WKU team who went to the Sweet 16 last year. This is an interesting matchup, Gary. Yeah, you know, it, it, it's a matchup that I think, you know, people look for these 12-5 uh, games to pick as upsets, and this is the one everybody's going to pick because, though Illinois is, is very solid, you don't win as many Big Ten games as Illinois won without being solid, they're not going to overwhelm anybody. And part of that's because they can't score, and the other part is because they play at a, at a very, very slow tempo. One of the slowest tempos in the country, I think it ranks 283rd, uh, in the nation, offense is right around 100 in terms of efficiency, and so you know they, they play slow and they're not great offensively. So that's going to give practically anybody an opportunity to hang around. Um, for that reason, I think Western Kentucky will hang around. And then uh, you know when you got a team that's already knocked off Louisville earlier this season, and, and granted it was a long, long, long time ago, um, you, you can at least see how this could maybe be one of those upsets. And I suspect it'll be the one twelve five that that practically everybody picks. And you got to talk about Chester Frazier, a much-needed commodity for the Illini. He missed the Big Ten tournament after having hand surgery. Will he return for the NCAAs? Can the Illini, Gary, win without him? Well, yes, they can win without him. I mean, uh, they, you know, they, they beat Michigan the other day without him. But, um, look, at this time of the year, uh, you know, every coach is sort of locked into a rotation. They know what they've got. They know who they can count on. And to not have one of those players available – it's tough. Again, he's not their best player. He's not their most important player, but he is a key player to what they do, and uh, it would be better for them if they had him available at this point. It seems unclear, uh, A, if he'll play, and B, if he does play, how healthy he'll be. But I think it's pretty obvious at this point that um, even if he's on the court, he is not going to be 100%. And you mentioned earlier this is kind of a situation uh, where an upset could happen. The Hilltoppers peaking at a good time. They've won 10 of their last 11 games. Are you thinking more in the NCAA tournament and more success for them? Uh, with Western Kentucky, it's a nice story. I mean, this is a totally revamped roster. A lot of people will, you know, will look at it and, and, and sort of remember, oh, that's the team that went to the Sweet 16 last year. Um, that maybe they can do it a year. This is a totally different team with a totally, you know, a, a, a completely different makeup, style of play, and, and a, and a first-year coach in Kim McDonald. I'm not talking about just a new Western Kentucky coach, but a guy who um, was an assistant at Texas. This is his first hit coaching gig, and, and honestly, I, I didn't expect him to do this well. I don't think he expected himself to do this well this quickly. He's scheduled up uh, in the non-league because he said, look, this, this is whole, this is, everything is keyed around, you know, we're in a one-bit league, so everything's keyed around trying to win the conference tournament. I think, um, I think the way to do that is to play some tough teams in the non-league, get prepared for it, and then know once our league schedule starts, that we're going to not face anybody as good as some of the teams we play. So uh, he went that direction, and I think, honestly, thought he'd take a bunch of losses in the non-league. He took some, but they knocked off Louisville, knocked off Georgia, and, uh, and, and you know suddenly looked, and looked like a capable team. Then they win the Sun Belt title, win the Sun Belt tournament. Um, you know, we spent a lot of time this year talking about guys like you know, Buzz Williams is doing at Marquette and Trent Johnson is doing at LSU, but the job Kim McDonald did at Western Kentucky is among the best first-year coaching jobs in America. A couple surprising wins. Perhaps we're in for more. The Fighting Illini. Western Kentucky, 9.55 p.m. on March 19th. Watch every game from the first round to the NCAA championship live online for free with NCAA March Madness on Demand. Go to NCAA.com to find out more. I'm Lauren Shahadi. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.